Jeff, how are you feeling? Excited and nervous. We've made it through TSA. We're here at RDU. About to go to Hawaii. Hawaii. All right, so we're here at Raleigh, RDU. Durham. We're, um, our first flight is to Charlotte. Then our second flight is to Los Angeles. And then from Los Angeles, we go to Hawaii. Hola, Hawaii. So, Tiff, how's your uh, your uh, airport experience been so far? So far, so good. Made it through with no issues except Cameron's um, carry on. He got checked. He's got all his camera equipment, but it's good. I'm just excited. Arrival time is set for 4:05 in Hawaii. Uh, which is really like 10 o'clock almost um, 11 here right. North Carolina time yeah it's like a six hour time difference so where's my other strap <laughs> all right so now we've landed in Los Angeles from Charlotte we've got our next flight to Kona in about an hour and a half cool story uh, to tell you about our flight that we just had if you didn't know I I like Duke basketball, and we the girl. Like Duke basketball. We like Duke basketball, and the girl that was sitting next to us is the daughter of Danny Ferry. And Danny Ferry played Duke basketball in the late '80s. He played with Christian Leitner, one of the most hated college basketball players of all time, or the best college basketball player of all time, depending on who you ask. Um, played with Quinn Snyder, one of the. Uh, current NBA head coaches um, and his uh, his number is retired from Duke basketball um, 12 years as an NBA player he had a, like a three-year stint as the New Orleans Pelicans GM so I was fan girling a little bit on the plane but can you blame me and Tiff told me to stop embarrassing her because I was doing research about Danny Ferry on the He's on the plane. Googling her dad. I was like, oh, your dad does this, and she's like, yeah. Okay, was, but she didn't tell us that he didn't. Like, she was, was just like, cool. my dad like works for an NBA team. Blah blah blah. We basically met a famous person. But I think the crazy thing is, is like that reminds me that like you never really know who's gonna be walking around you. So be nice to everybody, you jerk. We just landed in Kona. I'm feeling very excited and I want to get off this plane already. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha, thank you. <laughs> this is so surreal. It's like a dream come true. Uh, we did not get laid. Uh, the movies lie to you. <laughs> Once you walk in, you got a nice little outdoor patio. You got a little outdoor shower for when you come in. This is our space. We got a nice little bed, a little kitchenette area with some cookware and, and the likes. Nice little bathroom in there. And now we're gonna go get groceries. We have finally made it. Um, we got checked into our Airbnb and now we are in the car. We're gonna go get some food. It is uh, six o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since four o'clock. Um, you know, from North Carolina to Hawaii, we had about a six hour time difference. So we went to bed kind of early last night because we were tired and it was 8.30. Uh, when we went to bed, so about four o'clock. Um, that's about like an eight hour sleep. So four o'clock, I've been awake, I've been ready to move. And I looked up what time the sunrise was and it was at six o'clock. Um, but it's kind of dark out here, kind of cloudy. Don't think you're gonna get much of a sunrise today, but that's okay. Looks like it might be raining a little bit today, so. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. All right, day one officially. What we're planning to do is go look at some lookouts. 
We're gonna go to a couple uh, parks and just kind of explore. Explore, because it's a little overcast. It's probably gonna rain, um, so it's not like an ideal beach day. You but you have to be on your tiptoes, so you're you're gonna be in it. I'm, I gotta point it down at you. Yesterday, I love you more than yesterday. We are at Wine Bay Coffee Company and we're going to get some food and some coffee, and yeah. then we'll be on our way. Food review of your bagel. It's bagel with coconut oil. Now this is a YouTube uh, explanation, so feel free to. It's delicious, everything bagel. A little coconutty, which I love coconut. It's bagel with coconut oil. Grilled cheese, let's see what we think. Grilled cheesy. Tastes like a grilled cheese. That's something you always want when you have a grilled cheese. Um, bread's a little extra hard. I would maybe toasty. Not toast the bread as much, but can't complain. I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. So I got a pour over coffee with coconut. No, I lied. Pour over coffee with oat milk. <laughs> feeds my soul. Ooh, that's gonna get me zinged up. It's coffee from Kona, or the Kona beans. The, Kona, the coffee beans are grown in Kona. What's, uh, what's your one out of 10 rating? And give us a reason why you chose that rating. Nine, because I can taste the caffeine, but it might be a little too strong for my heart. Hey there, Don, come sit by my side. Done plenty living, but it don't feel right. These are our first steps in Hawaiian water. This is try, but no, we never found the perfect time or place. That doesn't mean we won't find it somewhere. Kamea. Kamehameha. No, Kamehameha. That's Dragon Ball Z. Yesterday, hold your breath, now let's swim to shore. I'll tread the water in that heart. If you're on your way to see your first beach of Hawaii, it's right in front of you. What are you? I fell out of the Jeep and then I just slid on the sidewalk. So I'm falling apart, but we're here. We're here. I love you more than yesterday. So we just got home and our home host Scott saw us pull in as he was leaving and he stopped and he went in the house and got us treats for our honeymoon and then um, it looks like some gourmet chocolates from Kona, Hawaii. I'm really excited for the champagne too. Yeah so basically um, if you didn't know our honeymoon we got we went to St. Martin we were there for three weeks uh, when we intended one because we both got COVID and then we couldn't get a negative COVID test to travel back. It was a hot mess story for another time. When I originally reached out to Scott about this Airbnb, told him our situation, told him that we were attempting honeymoon 2.0. And, uh, and so then, you know, today he, uh, he just approached me and was like, after we got home from everything and he said, I got you guys this stuff to hopefully make this a, a good a good honeymoon 2.0. For the sake of day one, we got the we got a lot of exploring done, and tomorrow we're going golfing, or at least I'm going golfing. Tiff is gonna going be my caddy. caddy. She's gonna be my caddy. So make sure you watch that. All right, so. Oh. <gasps> Cheers. Oh my God.